The law of the Lord is good. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Now, the reason why people get confused is because there are different applications of the law. If we're looking to the law for our salvation, then you're looking in the wrong place. We are not looking to keep the law in order to be saved. So the verses that talk about the law being done away and, and not being under the curse of the law and being free from that bondage and everything else is referring to our path of salvation, of ultimately being reconciled to God because we can't be reconciled to God through the law because we've already transgressed the law. We've already sinned. We need Jesus Christ and it's only as a free gift. It's only by grace. It's only by faith in him that saves us. So when we go as believers, as Christians to look to the law, it is not for our atonement. It is not for the salvation of our souls. And again, when you read those verses in the New Testament that people like to twist and, and, and take way too far to an extreme of like these hyper grace people who say, well, there's just no more law. Well, that doesn't line up with what the scripture is talking about then. If there is no law at all, then how could we sin? How could anybody sin for that matter? If there's no law in the New Testament, then nobody's a sinner. Because sin is the transgression of the law. It makes no sense. We have to be reasonable and look to and use our understanding and the brains that God gave us to be able to reason through these things and understand what God is trying to tell us and how we should be living according to his words, right? Without contradiction. So we look to the law so that we don't sin because we're trying not to sin because while you may have your soul completely secure in Christ, and yes, when you die, you will go to heaven, that doesn't mean that there's no consequence for sin. The penalty of hell has been paid for. Amen. That's huge. That's more important and bigger than everything else. But it doesn't make everything else unimportant. Right? Right? Just because something is most important, the thing right below the most important is still important. So we don't only just focus on the one thing, and that's why you're not going to only hear salvation, 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 salvation every single time we have a service here. But isn't that the most important thing? Yes, it is the most important thing. But is that the only thing? No. There's a lot more to it than that. So we're going to go be reasonable and look through this and say, okay, well, the New Testament, I'm commanded not to sin. I'm saying, should we continue in sin and grace may abound? No, God forbid. Okay, well, let's look to the law.